Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 16th, 2020. A very happy birthday to my dad, Tom. Dad, I love you so much and I hope that you experience so many blessings. All right, so today we have yellow again. I feel like we just had that a few days ago. So here it is once more, purify your body, which comes after regenerate your body. See how this is all very health focused? But as I said yesterday, it goes beyond that. It's about understanding how we function <laughs> in these human bodies and what we're missing, what we're not paying attention to, what we just allow to slip through the cracks. And it is, in fact, affecting all of our energies, which then produces an illness. Okay, it's happening. So we have yellow, purify your body, the number is 22, another master number. Look at that. <laughs> so this is... um. I don't know if you want to see it as like test time, but we are kind of in that. This, this is sort of talking about self-mastery, but the mastery and the, and the wisdom behind understanding what it truly means to be human. It's not about your job. I know we're all stressed out about our jobs. I get it. But it's not about that. It's not about how popular you are. It's more about critical thinking at an earlier stage, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so when a narcissist comes out and says, hey, I'm gonna spread this thing around social media, everyone join in. We engage our critical thinking a little sooner. We get into our heart and go, is this really helpful? Is this really gonna do anything? If the answer is no, and you feel a heaviness, or you feel a discomfort, or you might even feel adrenaline go through your body, that's a pretty good sign that you need to make a different choice. <laughs> and maybe don't spread that around social media, okay? Don't fuel the flames, basically. So purifying your body, be in touch with what you allow into your world. And that means not just your physical body, but your mental body as well, your emotional body. What do you allow to keep taking place? As a collective, we have experienced a lot of abuse. Does that make us victims? No, but we should definitely be sitting here and going, okay, you know what? <laughs> I won't participate. And I don't mean in the negativity because we get people who are so self-righteous about this and I feel a definite need to warn everybody yet again. I've been doing this throughout my whole career. Watch the false spiritual people, the ones who just go through the motions and then they think they're better than everybody. Spirituality is not going to cure narcissism. Not the way they approach it. They stay on the surface. Be watchful, not judgmental, but watchful and aware. That's the word, aware of people who tend to be very shallow. They won't go any deeper, and that's fine. Some of us are built to stay on the surface. If you're a Scorpio, <laughs> like me, <laughs> if you guys, you guys must know by now, I'm a stellium Scorpio, so I like to go deep on things. That's why I'm pretty, pretty well cut out for this kind of work. But do you know how often I get judged for going deep? I'm a downer. Michelle just brings the whole room down. Oh, <laughs> sorry about it. I don't know. I just showed up for the party. I didn't even come in like preaching or anything. I just came for the party. So, you know, we got to watch how, what, what we're accepting as the right way. So there's an understanding there that everyone is built for their purpose. Everyone is contributing something. There should be mutual respect there. But if we have somebody who is shallow because of avoidance and they're trying to dictate to you how you should live, mm -mm. nope, purify your body of that energy. If somebody comes in and says, you know what, I just, because there's shallow, there's shallowness in spirituality as well. I just want to drive that point home. These would be the people who are like, oh, just be positive. Okay, well, why don't you come over here and walk in my shoes and then tell me to just be positive. It has, it, there's no substance to it. But when someone looks at you and says, I know you're going through a hard time. They have true empathy. I'm right here with you. I understand. And I have so much faith in you. I think you're amazing. And I know maybe you can't see it right now, but you really do have a lot of talents and abilities. And you're going to find your way. I know you will. Maybe right now you just need to take it easy on yourself and not pressure yourself to be something. 
That's someone who truly understands what it is to be positive. Not someone who's just saying it. Empty words. Get your awareness on, guys. Purify your bodies in that way. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.